And here we have another related rates question. Car M is driving north at 30 miles an hour. Oh, my computer is kind of slow today. MPH. And car N is driving east at 40 miles an hour. Both cars are driving towards the intersection of the two roads. So this would be the intersection. And that's six miles away for car M. So that's six right here. That's what that measures. And eight miles away for car N. Now the question is, at what rate are the vehicles approaching each other at this instant at this very instant when N is 8 miles away from the intersection and sorry car N is 8 miles away and M is 6 miles away so here's what we know so far um, I'm just gonna actually call this measure the distance between car N and the intersection just X and this right here, the distance from M to an intersection, I'm just going to call Y. Okay? Of course, that we're going to end up with a, uh, a perfect right triangle. And this distance here, the distance between cars N and M, I'm just going to be calling that Z or Z. So, okay, now we already know the relationship between X, Y, and Z, because it's just Pythagoras, right? So we have X squared plus Y squared equals Z squared. Now, what do, what do we know? What, what does 40 represent? 40 represents the rate of change of x with respect to time. So using Leibniz notation, I'm going to say dx dt is equal to negative 40. Why negative? Because, well, we're approaching the intersection. And so that is the rate at which x is changing with respect to time. So dx dt equals negative 40. We also know that dy dt, or the rate at which y is changing with respect to time, is equal to negative 30. Whoops, here we go, negative 30. And what we ultimately want to know is at what rate the vehicles are approaching each other so at what rate is z changing? So we want to know dz dt. That's the big question mark right here. Now let's start differentiating this formula. We have x squared plus y squared equals z squared. We'll take the derivative of both sides with respect to time. So now, of course, we need to do implicit differentiation because I'm taking the derivative with respect to time of x squared. So the derivative of x squared is just going to be 2x, but then we need to multiply 2x by dx dt, right, according to implicit differentiation. Then over here, the derivative of y squared, but with respect to time, well, the derivative of y squared is just 2y times d, whoops, dy dt, <laughs> sorry about that. And finally, the derivative of z squared with respect to time is going to be 2z dz dt. Then if you want, you can actually divide both sides by 2. 
thereby canceling all these twos. And we already know many things that we can plug in here to eventually solve for dz dt, or the rate of change of z with respect to time. So we know x, we know that x, x is equal to 8, because that is the distance between car n and the intersection. And dx dt is just negative 40, because we, and we already knew that. So negative 40 plus y, y is just 6, which is the distance between car m and the intersection. And dy dt is just 30, or sorry, negative 30. Finally, we have z times d, z dt. But now, what is z? Hmm. We can actually cal calculate it through Pythagoras. So x squared plus y squared equals z squared. Again, that's 8 squared plus y is 6, so 6 squared equals z squared. 64 plus 36 is equal to 100. You can take the square root of both sides, and z is just 10. So here we have 10 times dz dt. Great. Now 8 times negative 40 is negative 320. 60 times negative 30 is negative 180. Great. Negative 320 minus 180 is negative 500. And that's equal to 10 times dz dt. So now we can divide both sides by 10 to solve for dz dt. Come on, computer. So slow today. And we're just going to get negative 50. And what does that mean? Negative 50 is equal to dz dt. And dz dt represents the distance in which n and m, or sorry, the rate at which the distance between n and m is changing. So the speed in which cars n and m are approaching each other is 50 miles an hour. And that's it. So remember, practice makes perfect, especially for related rates. Try a few more questions, and good luck.